Did you know that you can actually get better results from AI by being polite to it? Even though CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, said it's costing the company millions of dollars in electricity bills, saying please and thank you can sometimes lead to more helpful and thorough responses. It's one of the many fascinating quirks of prompt engineering, and it shows that how you ask is just as important as what you ask. I'm here to show you how to communicate with AI tools so effectively that your colleagues will think you've discovered some secret advanced model. The truth is you're probably already using the same AI tools as everyone else. You're just going to learn how to use them exponentially better. In this video, we're going to cover four key areas that take you from beginner to a pro. First, we'll master the essential building blocks of the perfect prompt. Next, I'll share the pro tips and habits that guarantee better results. Then we'll dive into the advanced strategies that will turn you into a true power user. And finally, because knowing isn't the same as doing, we'll walk through an actionable strategy to implement these skills into your daily workflow. And to ensure that everything sticks, we'll finish with a quick summary of the most important lessons. Sound good? All right, let's get into it. Before we can build the perfect prompt, we need to be clear on what prompt engineering actually is. To put it simply, it's the skill of writing precise instructions to guide AI models to produce specific and useful responses. And today, those responses are so much more than just text. We're talking about generating code, creating complex images, and even building fully functional web applications from a single description. Think of it as learning the universal language that gets AI to build exactly what you need. Here's what most people do wrong though. They treat AI like it's just a search engine. They type, write me a blog post about marketing and wonder why the output feels bland and unfocused. But here's the thing, AI models are incredibly powerful reasoning engines that can follow complex instructions, maintain context, and even adopt specific writing styles. You just need to know how to ask. So let's break down the building blocks of a good prompt. And once you see how they work together, you'll never write a vague prompt again, I promise. Okay, so first of all, an excellent prompt isn't a single question. It's a recipe with five key ingredients. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Most people type something like, write a social media post for our new app, Progify, and we get a semi-decent response. But is this what you really want? Let's see what happens when we build this up one by one. First and most importantly, we add the task. This is the core action you want the AI to perform. I'll change our prompt to generate three engaging social media posts for a new productivity app called Progify. And that's gonna be our foundation. Next, we add context and audience. Who is this for? Why does it matter? Let's add, the posts are for Instagram and LinkedIn, targeting busy freelancers and small business owners who feel overwhelmed by their workload. Now the AI knows who it's talking to and where the content will be posted. And for the next level ingredient, we'll add the persona. This is where you tell the AI who to be. I'll add, act as a witty and encouraging productivity coach right at the beginning. This tells the AI to access a specific knowledge base and adopt a unique writing style. Fourth, we need a clear format. How should the output look? Let's add, each post must be between 20 and 60 words, start with the question, and end with a call to action. To learn more at www.projectifyapp.icu. It should have relevant emojis and hashtags. See, now we've given it clear structural boundaries. And finally, we add some training examples. This is where we show the AI exactly what good looks like by giving the examples to follow. A technique called few shot prompting. Instead of just telling it to be witty, I'll show it the exact style of humor and encouragement I want. So I'll just add these examples to my prompt. Now that we've trained it on this specific style, we can ask it to generate new posts for our features. It will follow the pattern perfectly, giving us on-brand, high-quality content every time. So let's put it all together and look at the difference. On the left is the generic response we got from our first vague prompt. On the right are the three posts generated by our new detailed prompt. They perfectly match the witty, encouraging style we wanted, following our formatting rules, and are ready to be published. Now that you have the core framework for building a prompt from scratch, let's move on to the pro tips that will make your results even stronger. Tip number one, define the output format. Instead of letting the AI give you a wall of text, you tell exactly how to structure its response. Imagine you just finished a long team meeting and you have a messy transcript. If you just ask the AI to summarize this, you'll get back a dense paragraph. It's somewhat helpful, but you still have to hunt for important parts, like who promised to do what. But watch what happens when you provide a clear template in your prompt. You can ask for the exact same summary, but add this instruction. Now, instead of a messy paragraph, you get a perfectly organized, actionable report. The action items aren't buried in a paragraph, they're in a clean table you can copy and paste anywhere. As you can see for yourself, it is a massive time saver. Moving on to tip two, use instructions over constraints. Telling the AI what you want is much clearer than telling it what you don't want. For example, telling it do not use any technical jargon is a negative constraint, which might leave your AI a bit confused. A much better approach is a positive instruction. Explain its benefits using simple, everyday language that a beginner would understand. 
This gives the AI a clear positive goal, which leads to a much more natural and helpful result. Telling the AI what they shouldn't do is still valuable for preventing harmful content or enforcing strict output formats though. So keep that in mind. And the third most important habit, build your personal prompt library. When you craft a prompt that works perfectly, save it. Professionals don't start from scratch every time. They document their best prompts in a simple sheet. Over time, you build a powerful reusable toolkit that saves you hundreds of hours. Trust me, you'll be super glad that you did. Okay. Just with those tips alone, you can see how much of a difference a few small changes can make in your results. And that's what we're really all about here at Hosting Our Academy, giving you the practical skills to build and create more effectively. So if you're finding this helpful and you want more guides on using tools like this to be more productive, this would be a great time to like the video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming next. All right, you mastered the fundamentals and the pro habits. Let's level up and dive into the advanced strategies. The first one is a brilliant technique for getting more creative results. It's called step back prompting. The goal here is to guide the AI away from predictable answers by first having it think about the core principles behind your goal. Let's say you want a new feature for your online clothing store to keep customers coming back. A normal prompt like suggest a feature to increase customer retention will give you standard ideas, a points-based loyalty program, email discounts, or a wish list. They work, but they're not that innovative. Now let's step back. Instead of asking about a business goal, we'll ask about the customer's core problem. What is the biggest frustration people have when shopping for clothes online? The AI will give you powerful insights such as uncertainty about fit and how an item will actually look on their body. Then you'll use that as your creative fuel for the final prompt. Okay, using the idea of reducing uncertainty about fit, brainstorm a unique feature for my store. Now, instead of a boring loyalty program, the AI might suggest an innovative feature like virtual closet try-on, where users can create a digital mannequin with their measurements to see how clothes will fit before they buy. You get a much better, more creative result because you gave the AI the inspiration before you asked for the idea. Next, let's talk about a strategy that will completely change how you use AI and that is creating persistent AI agents. Instead of starting a new fresh chat every time, you create dedicated conversations where you assign the AI a specific ongoing role. Think of it as creating a personal board of expert advisors. Here's how you do it. You start a brand new chat and your very first message is the job description. For example, you are my startup advisor with expertise in software as a service businesses. For the rest of this conversation, analyze everything through the lens of scalable growth and product market fit. Your tone should be encouraging, but direct. Now the key is to keep using the same chat thread for all your startup questions. You've preloaded the context. For your next question, you don't need to repeat anything. You can just ask, what are the top three KPIs I should track in my first year? And the AI will answer from the perspective of your advisor, giving you a focused expert level response. You can create a whole cast of these agents, an interview coach, a coding mentor, a financial analyst. It's like having a team of experts on call 24 seven. The final technique I wanted to share is meta prompting, which is one of my favorites, especially when you feel stuck. In this technique, you get the AI to act as an expert prompt engineer and help you write a better prompt. Instead of struggling, you just describe your goal to the AI like this. I want you to act as an expert prompt engineer. My goal is to generate a comprehensive three months content strategy for my small business, which is a local plant shop specializing in rare and easy to care for indoor plants. I'm not sure what information I need to provide you to get the most effective and creative content strategy possible please create a detailed expert level prompt template that I can fill out. The template should include all the essential components you would need to generate a truly exceptional content strategy for my business. Now the magic here is in the response it gives you. The AI won't just write a sentence. It will give you a professional grade prompt template, essentially revealing what it needs to do a great job. All right, so you've learned the basics and had a glimpse into some advanced techniques, but it doesn't just stop there. The goal isn't to overwhelm yourself with complexity, but to systematically improve your AI interactions, implementing these techniques into your daily workflow. Start by creating that prompt template library for your most common use cases like I mentioned before. This will ensure consistency and save time while maintaining quality. Then develop a personal prompt engineering checklist that you can review before submitting your essential requests. Ask yourself, have I provided sufficient context? Is my desired output format clear? Have I specified any constraints or limitations? Are there examples I can include to guide the AI? And finally, stay curious and experimental. The field of AI is evolving rapidly and new techniques emerge regularly. Set aside time each week to try new approaches or test different prompt structures. This ongoing experimentation will keep your skills sharp and help you discover new ways to leverage AI effectively. And that habit of experimentation, of trying new approaches and testing new structures is exactly where the magic happens. It's the moment you stop learning about what's possible and start building what's next. 
So, what if you could take that creative energy and use your prompting skills not just to generate text, but to build a complete, fully functioning website or web app? That's not science fiction, that's the power of Hostinger Horizons. It's our new platform that lets you bring your vision to life. You can literally describe your app or website idea using the framework we covered, and Horizons starts building it for you. It's constantly being updated, and we have a whole playlist of videos you can check out to become a power user. If you want to stay in the loop with the latest updates and join a community of other builders, you should definitely join the official Hostinger Horizons Discord server too. Best of all, you can start building today with a free trial. I've included all the links in the description below, including a 10% off coupon and an invite to the official Discord community. All right, we've covered a ton of ground today, so let me distill it all down into a simple, actionable cheat sheet that summarizes the most important lessons from this video. First, master the five ingredients. This is your foundation. Always build your prompts using a clear task, context, persona, format, and examples. Getting this right is the first and most important step. Second, refine with pro tips. Always define your output format to get organized results and use positive instructions instead of negative constraints to guide the AI more effectively. Third, use advanced strategies. When you need to level up, use step back prompting for creativity, create AI agents for expert advice, and when you're stuck, use meta prompting to have the AI help you write a better prompt. And fourth, build good habits. The real growth comes from consistent practice. Build your prompt library, use a pre-flight checklist for important requests, and never stop experimenting. And there you have it. In a world where everyone has access to AI, the advantage goes to those who know how to use it best. And you're now officially one of those people. So what tips are you eager to use from this video? Let's talk in the comments. If this video helped you, tap that like button. It generally helps others discover these techniques. And if you're feeling inspired and want to put your building skills to the test using Horizons, check out this video next on how to build your first web app. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.